bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. Hey. Me? Yes, you. You don't have a box? What? A box. You don't have a box. You're clearly old enough to have a box. Yeah. Why don't you have a box? Threw it away. What? Let me guess. You just got your box, right? Well, yeah. So it's probably your birthday, and you're expecting, you know, presents, but instead you got a box. A wrapped up box with nothing in it. Am I close? Yeah, I mean, it was empty when I unwrapped it. And then your parents started putting things in it. How did you know? Listen, kid, we all got a box at that age. The age when we're all theoretically ready. Everyone goes through this. You'll be fine. But you said you threw away your box. Some of us do. Can I? Why would you want to throw away a box? Your report card? My mom put that in there. It's the one she's so proud of, the one where I made all A's. I'm supposed to have an all AB report card. And? I think I'm gonna have a C in math this quarter. I haven't told her. Oh. This was my older brother's. He went to school on a basketball scholarship. Division two, but not bad. Your dad put that in there? I had one for my dad too. Football. He wanted me to go for division one, just like my cousin. And you? Like I told you, I threw my box away, so it doesn't matter, does it? Listen, if you want to get rid of that box, throw away your report card and your jersey, then you throw away that box. Don't let anyone tell you whether or not to worry about what's in there, all right? Okay. You can't do it, can you? It's really hard. Once you throw away the box, you'll be fine. You'll be completely free. Free? Free of what? Hey, hey, stop for a second. Uh, we just wanted to ask you about your box. Yeah. Could you show us what's in your box? Sorry, there's no time. I have to study. Hey, put that back! Is this where you're going to college? It's where my mother, my grandfather, my great-grandfather, and half of my cousins have gone to school, so yes, that's where I'm going to college. Is that what you want? <laughs> Who cares? It's all that matters. There's nothing else in here. Of course not. Most people have at least a dozen things in their box. Well, it's time for anything else. I'm going to a prestigious university. That's the only expectation my parents have for me. And that's all I have time for. Now, excuse me, I have to go study. Is that what these are? Expectations? I mean, I guess so. Everyone just kind of comes along and puts them in your box. Everyone? What else do you have in there? Right now, it's just the stuff for my family. The jersey, the report card. And my little sister gave me this Valentine's Day there. I have no idea what it's about. You'll figure it out. Don't worry, there'll be more. Jack, you got your box. Congratulations. Um, thanks. What have you been telling him? Look, Jack, I'm not exactly sure what Chris has told you about that box, but know that having a box is super great. Really? Sure. I've got report cards, old school programs, the belts I've gotten in judo, all kinds of things. All kinds of things. Nothing bad about the box and your little Miss Perfect. I'll see you in class, Jack. Don't listen to Mr. Know-it-all over there, okay? That was really mature. Holly's been parading around with her box like she's some kind of queen. I don't think anyone's given her anything that's a real burden. Someone gave her an expectation she couldn't keep. I bet that balance would fall right out of her step. <laughs> She's not like us, Jack. I don't know, Chris. I still don't think I can throw the box away. Hey, suit yourself. Listen, I'll meet you later, okay? You can fill me out on your first day with the box. Maybe we can meet by the trash can. Man, I see you got your box. Yeah. It's all right. We all felt that way at first. No one likes it when they first get their box, but we got used to it. You will too. Yeah, you'll get used to it. 
I just don't know how I'm gonna tell my mom that I'm going to get a C in math. What? You're getting a C? Oh, come on, that's no big deal. No big deal. No big deal. Sure, I mean, look at this. My dad's marrying his girlfriend. You mean Trisha? Ugh. Yeah, and he expects me to come to the wedding and be all, ugh. I remember when my mom married her boyfriend, and I was cool with it, okay? But now, he wants me to call him dad. I just can't do it. I mean, I love him and everything, but he's not my dad and he never will be. Well, I guess I feel better about my C in that. No way. I got straight A's. I wouldn't trade this for the world. Oh, man. It's okay. I mean, at least you only have one C on your report card. It's not that big a deal. I think I'll have one in both math and English. A B's and everything else, though. Hey, what was that for? I expect you to call me so we can set up a time to study. No friend of mine is going to have a C on his report card. What, what about me? I've given up, Betty. Seriously, you're hopeless. It's okay, Rachel. I've given up. Teachers have already turned in their grades. I do not care. We'll get a head start on next quarter, so this never happens again. You guys are such nerds. Whatever, Nutty. Oh, hand here. Not you too. That's for later. I'll need your help making posters for my student council run. Oh, and... You better vote for me, too. Sure I will. I mean, why wouldn't I? Because Holly's running! Holly! So what? She's never lost at anything, and... and she's smarter than you. Well, I mean, she makes better grades, and she got second place in the district science fair. The science fair? That means nothing, Rachel! It says nothing about her leadership ability. It has nothing to do with student council. For student council, you need someone with a strong voice. Someone who will stand up against raising the cost of the cheesy chips and the snack machine. Someone who will fight for new dress code policies and- You do know that's not what student council does, right? I'm sure it is. No, you plan homecoming, all the school dances, and other activities. The school principal is not going to listen to us when it comes to the dress code, and I doubt she has any control over the price of the cheesy chips and the vending machine. But these are issues way more important than dances and the school cookout, Rachel. Give me a break. You are going to vote for me, right? Thank you. But Holly's still my friend, okay? I'm not going to ignore her just because you guys are running against each other. <laughs> Whatever. For your bucks. An IOU? I need to borrow a dollar at lunchtime to get a soda. But you never pay me back. Exactly. Seriously, Jax. You know the stuff for our bucks is too, and it won't be so awkward. In the meantime, you'd better organize more space in that box if you want to make it through the day. <sighs> yep. You don't have a single thing in there from your teachers yet. They'll be sure to load you up, just wait. The projects are due next Monday. The basketball tryouts are Wednesday afternoon. You have to be nice to him, even when he's not nice to you. Don't be such a nerd! You're a good student and I can always count on you to do your best. I know you can work harder in my class. Do you want to come over after school? Get up, it's time to go to church. Vote for Nettie. You always do so well on all your assignments. That work is just not going to cut it. You've got to practice harder. I'm excited by what you'll accomplish. Explore at least 10 college opportunities. No one likes her anyway. Do you have your date for the school dance yet? You should win the science fair. How could you get a C in math? Don't be such a goody two-shoes. What do you mean you didn't make the A team in basketball? Told you so. That looks like a pretty full box. How am I supposed to handle all of this? You know what I did. I don't want to disappoint everyone. Seems like you already did. Hey, I worked really hard in math this quarter, okay? And basketball? How's that going? I'm on the B team, okay? The B team! Everyone makes the B team, Jack. Everyone! So our dreams of glory go to die. I don't want to disappoint everyone. It's easier once you've done it. When there are no expectations, no goals, you're free. What do you mean, totally free? Listen, if I fail a test, no one cares. And if I don't set up for any sports, I mean, my dad was mad at first, but he learned not to expect that of me. I don't think anyone expects anything of me anymore. I won't let them. And if someone gives me something that I don't want to keep, I just throw it away. Like, this? A list of classes for my vocational counselor. She says that I should start thinking about taking them so that I'm ready for the real world. 
not using these glasses would help you. Who needs the pressure? I sure don't. Well, speaking of pressure. Hey, Laura, what's up? Huh? What's up, Blake? Hey. What's going on with you? Studying. Hey, get in the hat, please. No, see, Jack, this is what these boxes get you. No life. I have a life. Oh, yeah, like what? Like studying all the time? Studying so much that you don't have friends? That you don't do anything else? Studying so hard to go to this mucky muck school so you just because your entire family went there? What a joke. I want to go to a good school. I want to make my parents proud. I want to be a good student who gets good grades, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. And I don't mind the studying. So it would be nice to have friends. You don't have any? It's because all you do is study. It's because no one's ever... No one's ever wanted to be my friend. No one's given me anything to put in my box besides... Nettie and I are going over to Nettie's later tonight. She's running for student council, and we're going to help her make posters. Do you want to come? Okay, great. Well, let me give you my number, and you can call me later. Yeah, what was that? I was just trying to help her. By putting her, putting more things in her box? That never helps. It seemed to. Listen, I was just trying to help, okay? Give me your phone. Why? Just give it to me, okay? What are you going to do? I... And putting my phone, putting my number in your phone. You'll call me when you're ready to listen. Isn't that the same thing as just putting it in my box? Of course not. I'm trying to help you. Getting rid of that thing, that box, is the only real answer. Yeah, okay. Love you too. Mike. Your stepdad? I don't get it. I don't understand why he can't just be okay with me calling him Mike wants you to call him dad. I have a real dad. Maybe he's not around anymore, but I do have a dad and I call him dad. You cannot have two dads. End of story. Call me dad when you're ready. We all know what that means. Ugh. Maybe it means what he says it means. What? Maybe you should just, I don't know, throw it away. Throw the card away and don't call him dad until you're really ready. We've been talking about this. How did you know? Every time someone gets a box, he makes it a point to convince them to try and throw it away. Oh. It's like he's looking for a side card. But Jack, trust me, we all had to learn that throwing the box away was not the answer to our problems. Even when you're carrying around a Father's Day card that you really don't want? Sure, I mean, what would my mom say if I tossed it? She'd creep. I'll see you at Nettie's later, okay? And bring your math homework so you can study after this. Okay, I invited Laura to come. Who? You know, the nerdy girl with the little box that only has the college home ribbon. And she's coming? I think so. I gave her Nettie's marker and my number for her box. See? I told you you'd have stuff for other people's boxes soon. I have track practice. I'll see you later, okay? Okay, bye. Is Rachel okay? I guess so. You're such a guy. I saw that look on her face. She's not okay. It's her dad, isn't it? Well, it's her stepdad. Oh? Why is that? Mike's kind of cool. I mean, they've always gotten along okay. He wants her to call him dad. I think her mom does too. She's been carrying around a Father's Day card for her box. Oh, that's gotta be rough. How'd your first day with your box go? Not good. I'm sorry, Jack. It'll get better. It always does. Really? What do you know about it? Excuse me? Holly, you're the teacher's pet. One of those perfect students. And you have a black belt in judo. Your parents are still together and they come to every single one of your events and shows and games probably going to win the student council election, and- Jack, I know you're going to vote for Nettie, and it's fine. It's your friend. I really don't care. Well, what about the box? I'm not going to put anything in your box. Look, I hate that Nettie's mad at me right now for running against me, but we're all friends. I'd love it if you did vote for me, but I'm not going to force you to. You get to decide. You're not going to put anything in my box? Like I said, you're, you get to decide. It sure doesn't feel that way, and- you're not carrying around anything that's hard to deal with. What do you know about it anyway? I know more than you think. What's that supposed to mean? Did Chris tell you why he threw his box away? Not really. Maybe you should ask him.
Hey, that's mine. Can I have it? What? No. Can I have this? My little sister gave me that. But do you want it? Yeah, yeah. Do you want it? That goes in my box. Of course it goes in your box, silly. But do you want it? Can, Can we have it? it? My little sister will be mad if I gave her bear away. What are you doing? Would you put that back? There's nothing else good in his box, Blair. Let's go. Hey, wait a second. What do you mean there's nothing else good in there? And what are you doing here anyway? What do you want? Just looking to take stuff off your hands. Not just any stuff. The, the good, good stuff. stuff. The good stuff you're willing to part with. That we can take off your hands. Lighten your load. To make your box more bearable. And it's not like you're throwing it away. You're giving it away. To, to us. us. To take care of. But what about your boxes? Box. Just one. You have one box for the both of you? Why, Why would, would we, we need, need two? two? I guess I see your point. So what about the bear? And the ball. Can, can we have them? them? My little sister would be mad if I gave her a bear away, but if I gave it to you, what would you do with it? Put it in our box. But isn't it my expectation? <laughs> <laughs> it always belonged to you, Dad. Well, it does hang around to it for you. Occasionally, we may remind you that we have it. Just to remind you that it's there. We like reminding people of the things we've got. Everyone needs to be reminded. Just to be reminded, just a whisper. Every now and then. A whisper to you, to them, to everyone. Everyone? Just to remind them that we have their stuff. It feels all warm and fuzzy to remind everyone that they've given up their good stuff. We'll show you! <laughs> Laura gave us this when she gave up all her friends so that she could study more. And Eddie gave us this when he stopped studying so much to spend more time with his friends. Rachel gave us this when her dad moved out of state. Or went to jail. Whatever, Whatever you, you want, want to believe. believe. And Chris gave us this when his sister died. What? His, his sister, sister died. died! I didn't know that. <gasps> we'll tell you! It was a car accident. Oh, she was sick. They think it was murder. Whatever you, you want, want to believe. believe. I'm not sure if I want to hear this from you guys right now, and you don't even have your story straight. Doesn't matter. You're right. After all, he gave us this picture. He wants to forget, but we, we remind him. him. I think I'll hold on to these things for now, thanks. Well, when you're ready for us to take those good things off your hands, let us know. That's what we do. We do. We, we do it well. Does anything in your box actually belong to you? Paper and a pen to, to write, write notes, notes, a phone, a computer to, to write, write posts. Would any of this stuff actually be good if we didn't give it to you? Well, it wouldn't be any good if we didn't have anybody to tell it to. We have to remind everyone about the good stuff. After all, it's really just whatever you want to believe. You guys spread rumors. You tell lies. We write notes. We tell stories. Whatever what you, you want, want to believe. believe. We only want the good stuff, the juicy stuff. How can that be bad? So then I tell her, a C gets a degree. Jeez, it's gonna catch up with you eventually, Nubby. Nah, I'm a fast runner. College is just around the corner. You guys sound like my mom. Part of it. I'm alright. It's your box that's bothering you. I am so it? sick and tired of talking about these stupid boxes. It's okay, you'll get Get used to it? I'm not sure I want to get used to it. You guys all felt this way when you got your boxes, right? I don't see how you can be okay with carrying all this stuff around with you all the time. It's not like we have a choice, Jack. Yeah, just look at Chris. Oh, he's a jerk. He's got no direction in his life. He picks on everyone. He thinks he's right and no one else is. He's arrogant. At least he seems happy with himself. He is not happy. How do you know that? You guys have gotten rid of stuff. You've given things to Lucy and Blair. They told me. If you guys can get rid of stuff, why can't I? Jack, we've all made some mistakes. We're just trying to keep you from making the same ones that we did. I'll get that. Sure, there are things we can't get rid of, like a Father's Day card or Nandis invitation to his dad's wedding, but everyone has, has that kind of thing. And getting rid of them or letting the wrong person hold on to them, it only makes things worse. I can't think of one person who is perfectly happy with their boss. 
Really? Hi everyone. Um, Rachel invited me. She said you might need some help with your math. I got a 97 in algebra. Of course you did. Laura and Rachel can help me. We're working on my student council poster right now, so... Oh, I can help. Sure, have a seat. Yeah, Holly, of course you can help. We couldn't do it without you. We just haven't got time to do we help Truman with this campaign. Be quiet, Nettie. <laughs> Holly, you can help us come up with some slogan ideas. I think we should go with a vote for Nettie is a vote for Tubby. That is the stupidest slogan I've ever heard. No, it isn't. Can't you see that the adorableness of the teddy bear contrasted with the fierceness of Roosevelt? Who's leading of the progressive era will attract voters who are concerned with your image as a leader, as well as what productive changes you might bring to fiscal policy as a whole? What she said. I still think it's stupid. Why? Because you don't understand? Maybe you put more effort into your class. <laughs> who wants to spend their entire day studying? Of course. I forgot I was surrounded by a bunch of nerds. That's not very nice, Nettie. Nobody asked you. What are you doing here anyway? You're the competition. Stop it, guys. We're all here to help. How about... Ned's the best. Don't second guess. That doesn't even actually rhyme. And who's Ned? I don't go by Ned. I don't know. Ned sounds way more grown up and intelligent than Nettie. I vote for a Ned. You'll vote for a Nettie. I am not changing my name. Well, then I might be changing my vote. Guys, this isn't worth fighting over. We'll just come up with something else. You're supposed to be my friend. That means you vote for me. What if I want to vote for someone who might actually do a good job, huh? What if I want to vote for Holly? Look. Rachel, I don't think I should have come. I thought we were going to work on math homework. Yeah, just, just run away. Rachel can vote for you, of course she would, but Jack won't. And neither will Laura and the rest of the school. No one likes you, Holly. That's a horrible thing to say. I can't believe I agreed to help you with your stupid campaign. And there's no way I'm copying my science notes for you or helping you with your homework. You forget everything you put in my box. Stop it. Oh yeah? Well, I'm not sending you for the morning or at lunch. And you forget everything you put in my locker because it's close to the class. You'll just have to be late like the rest of us. Nettie, Rachel, stop it, okay? This is Stupid. We're all friends no matter what, right? You can't fix this, Holly. Rachel invited you, not me. You guys can just take your boxes and go. I'm leaving. Not you. No, I'm leaving too. These boxes are stupid, Nettie. I don't care what anyone expects of me anymore. I'm going to call Chris, and I'm going to throw the box away. You can't do that. It's I'm not so a good sick idea. and tired of hearing this from you guys. I'm going to call Chris, and this box is going in the trash can. Tell me one thing first. Why did you throw your box away? Same reason you're gonna throw yours away. It got too heavy. But too heavy with what? Lucy and Blair told me your sister died. Lucy and Blair talked too much. Do you know what the spare means? It means your little sister loves you more than life itself. She worships you. I don't even know her. And I know that she thinks that you are the greatest human being on the planet. Really? And who could live up to that? Stop! Jack, please don't throw away your box. Mind your own business, Holly. Why don't you mind yours? Look, I know you think the box has just caused you problems. Problems with my friends, my family, everyone. But Jack, it only means you're not using it right. Using it right? What an idiot. It's a box. No, it's not just a box. It's your box. What's that supposed to mean? If it's your box, you get to decide what goes in it. You can't pick the expectations other people have for you. Is that what you think the box is? Other people's expectations? Come and see. I promise I don't bite. Look, if I haven't made my point, I'll be quiet and let you throw your box away, okay? I won't interfere. You get to decide. This is the program for the very first theater show I was in. I was a tree. I was so disappointed. Then why keep the program? Because that was just the beginning. Here's my second show, and my third. Now I have a whole stack of programs in here. I want to be a professional actress someday, and these programs remind me that I'm working towards that. My grades. They're not quite where I'd like them to be, but I keep a close eye on them. I need to get straight A's if I want to go to a performing arts school in New York. The school counselor also said I need to be involved in lots of different activities. 
But what about the things that other people give you? And the junk from your parents and teachers? What about the things from your friends? It's my box, remember? If anyone gives me something that I don't want, I give it back. And yes, sometimes I do throw things away. Someone who I thought was my friend gave me a cigarette once, but there have been other things too. Things that didn't seem so bad. Like what? My dad keeps trying to push me to go to business school. I know he means well, but... It's not what you want. No. And sometimes it's hard to give back the programs he keeps handing, the school brochures he keeps handing me, but I have to give them back because they don't belong in my box. I get to decide. It's an expectation. Don't you have to take it? It's not what these are. Of course they are. When my sister... When she... Look, it all started with the, uh, the obituary, the funeral, and even before that, when she was sick. Do you know, do you know what, um, do you know what cancer does to someone? She even told me, everyone wants me to live for her, I'm living for life. That's why you threw your box away. It wasn't mine anymore, it was hers. Your box is too heavy too full of expectation. I couldn't carry a box for both her and me, so I threw it away. I threw all of the expectations everyone had for me away. I guess it would be easy to confuse the two. What two? Expectations and hopes. The boxes were never meant to hold other people's expectations for us, Chris. The things in our boxes from other people are their hopes for us, not their expectations. And from those hopes, and your own, you create your own dream, your own plans and goals. That's what your box is, a pathway for your journey through life based on your plans, goals, and dreams. I put things in my box that remind me to keep moving forward. Holding on to her obituary didn't remind me to move forward. It hurt. I understand. This is your grandfather. He'll be in jail for a long, long time. He should be. And it hurts to carry that around with me every day, but I'll never throw it away. Why? Because I've decided that I won't make the same mistakes. Keeping that in my box, even though it hurts, reminds me that I'm not perfect. That I'll have to work hard to get the things that I want out of life. I can't change what my grandfather did. Chris, you can't live your sister's life. We can remember them, hold them in our hearts, and learn from them. I chose to keep that in my box. I chose to make the story a part of mine to keep me on the right path. Guess I never thought of it that way. I get to decide what goes in my box. Yes. Give back what you don't want. Give it back honestly and sincerely, after all. It's somebody's hope for you, but if it really doesn't, it doesn't fit in with your own plans and dreams, then don't accept it. There's usually no need to throw things away. I understand that sometimes you have to, but not everything. Don't let go of the things that really should matter. Even if something hurts, it might still be worth carrying on to. Life isn't always black and white. I guess I should go apologize to Rachel and Nettie. I think I'm going to hold on to these things for now. There may be some stuff that I have to give back or throw away, but... I don't think I'm ready to get rid of the box just yet. Yeah, sure, man. I guess I get it. Here. Just in case you need it.
bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see.